So one of the features that makes Headway such an amazing tool for creating websites um, are the leaves. And yes, it's leaves, not leaves. The developers liken them to the additional panels one adds to a table to make it bigger, like at Thanksgiving. So Headway has these leaves, and they all have different capabilities that allow you to make your site really, really flexibly nifty. Uh, but a lot of people don't always understand how the leaves work or can be adjusted. So in a series of tutorials, I'm going to discuss each leaf, show you how it works, how to make changes, and even give you ideas on ways it can be used in creating your website. And today, we're going to start with the content leaf. The content leaf is where information you create in your posts or pages appears on your site. When you open the visual editor, you will see a section entitled Leafs on the left-hand side, and it will list all of the leafs available to you. And the content leaf is right there at the very top. This is where you would add a content leaf, or there's already a content leaf there for you when you first install Headway uh, on a blank site. Uh, where it says Hello World, that's your content leaf, uh, and it's a default when you install Headway that it's there along with a widgetized sidebar. On each one of your leaves, when you mouse over the upper right-hand corner, you will see some controls. The first control is for the fluid height. Uh, the second one will align your leaf to the right hand side and the third one is your editing button. This is where you're going to be able to open up another screen which will give you options for that individual leaf. And then that red X is actually used to delete a leaf if you decide you don't need it, don't want it. So when you hit that editing button you're going to see immediately the options at the very top uh, which will which give you the option to either have the default behavior which is post or a single page or a custom post query and there's also some writing underneath that you should read because it goes into some details on uh, what it will do on certain pages uh, if you choose the custom post query there are items that you can choose from once you choose that once you choose that radio button you can include or exclude certain categories uh, your categories will appear in this box here, so any category that you've set up. You can choose how many posts are going to appear on that page, and you can also choose how many of your posts are going to be featured and show in their entirety. Um, and then you can actually disable excerpts. If you don't want little excerpts of your posts, you can actually disable that option. On this page site, this is the blog index page, and this is the content box, and it's set up to pull in all of my blog posts. That's the default behavior on the blog index page. Then on this page, my Geek for Hire page, it's also set at the default behavior, but because it's a separate page, it's pulling in page content rather than all of my blog posts. So that's what I was trying to say about uh, the content leaf doing different things on different pages depending upon what that page is it'll do different things and it's all laid out when you read it in that uh, options box here on this page I have actually set this up for a real estate agent as her listing site and I've got three separate content leaves here and they're pulling in different categories so when she puts a listing into her blog, she can put it in the category of active listings and it'll appear in the first leaf. And then when it goes pen, pending for a sale, she can change that category of that post and it'll appear in the middle one and likewise once it's sold it'll go into that uh, last uh, leaf. So as you can see it allows for a lot of flexibility. So don't overlook uh, what you can do with the content leaf. 